Hey guys, what's up? Chief from Spreadshot Games. I got some pickups today, and they are... POKETASTIC! But first off, I picked up uh, Castlevania Portrait of Ruin for the DS. Uh, complete for 12. I got Tiny Toon Adventures Wacky Sports Challenge for the SNES. Uh, pretty rare game, not valuable, but it, I think it's hard to come by, so I picked it up. And I also got Romance, The Three Kingdoms, Dragon of Destiny in the box. Uh, good condition cart, decent condition box. It's not really messed up at all. Um, it's got a little bit of warping in it and a little bit of uh, wrinkles and stuff. But other than that, it's pretty good. Uh, this will be up for trade. And moving on to the, the Pokemon stuff I got today. I got... People my age probably remember these. The Pokemon uh, gold cards that you got from Burger King when Pokemon was in its prime. I got five of these in the box. I got two Charizards, a red Charizard and a blue Charizard. I don't know the difference between the red and blue boxes. A Poliwhirl in a blue box. A Togepi in a blue box. And a Jigglypuff in a blue box. Now, the only one I got as a kid was a Mewtwo. Um, and I think I just have the card and the Pokeball now. The only one that's open is Jigglypuff. Whoops. But all the rest, the boxes are open, but the Pokeballs are still sealed in plastic wrap. Um, I think I'm going to be selling all of these, except maybe, uh, one of the Charizards. I don't know which one I'm going to keep, but I'm going to keep one, and I'll probably keep the Poliwhirl also, just because I think it's cool. Um, as for the other Charizard, and Jigglypuff here, and Togepi, those will probably be going up for sale for trade. Um, if you're interested, go ahead and let me know. And moving on with the Pokemon theme, a Pokemon Soul Silver in the box with the Poke Walker. Uh, hopefully, I'm gonna get online, play this with uh, Lunch back home. He's been doing a lot of Pokemon stuff, and when I asked what game he had been playing, because I'm thinking about picking up a DS, um, he told me that him and his friends were playing. Uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver, and that was the one I needed to pick up, which I didn't think was going to be a big deal. And he informed me that they're kind of harder to find in retail stores. I thought I could just go to a retail store and pick one up um, for cheaper, uh, you know, because they've been out for a while. And he informed me that that's probably not going to be the case, that it's not going to be that easy, that a lot of stores around where my brother is don't have any, and his friends that were getting in on it. Um, either had to buy them off Craigslist or had to buy them off eBay so to find them complete at least. Because for some reason, GameStop and used game stores like to take handhelds or it seems like any used game now and just throw away the art and s stuff. I don't know why. It's stupid in my opinion. But uh, uh, to get them complete, you usually got to find them online or at least his friends did. So I lucked out and found this one at a game store. Uh, but... I have Pokemon Soul Silver now, and then today I picked up. And this is actually a brand new game released, and I never liked these games at all. Um, I thought the concept was cool, and then I watched gameplays of them. I thought they looked really stupid and really boring, um, which is the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon uh, series or like Pokemon Ranger series. Um, the ones where you pl actually play as Pokemon. Well, this is Mystery Dungeon... Uh, Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity. And that's still got the plastic seal on it. This game came out today, uh, Sunday the 24th. And I watched a gameplay on it. I knew nothing about this game coming out until maybe... Um, a week ago. And so I looked up some gameplay, some demos. Apparently there's a demo out on, like, the DS store or whatever, which I didn't know because I don't have a DS. But, um, 
you know, there's a demo out. I watched some gameplay. It looks pretty neat, so I picked it up, and I'm just going to open it up real quick. We'll see if there's anything special in it. But I'm interested to get in on some of this stuff. Um, this Pokemon game, it looked really cool. It's almost kind of like a, I don't know, like an RPG, but it's not really turn-based like the classic Pokemon games, but um, I'm going to be pretty interested in it. And as you can see, this is a, for the 3DS, and as I mentioned, I don't have a 3DS or a DS or any handheld really at this time besides um, the Gold Star 3DO, or the Gold Star 3DO, what the hell? Um, the Neo Geo X Gold is what I meant to say, and my Game Boy Pocket. Um, my good friend Xander recommended if you're going to get a DS or get a 3DS, get the big one. So I was like, okay, I'll get a big 3DS. Um, was reading online a while ago, found out that Target was going to have a sale on DSs. And that there was a new variant of DS coming out, which was this one. The Pikachu 3DS XL Limited Edition. And it was going on sale, just like all the other 3DS XLs at 160 And 3DS XLs normally go for 200 And I found this online first on eBay, people selling pre-orders. So, um... I was like, wow, uh, maybe I should bid on one of these pre-orders. And then I looked online to see where it was coming out at, how I could get one. And I found out, hey, Target's selling them for 160 day of release. Day of release, it was already on sale. So, I got one. And I checked on eBay tonight, even though the system just came out today. And there are still people paying in excess of 200 which is the price of a brand new 3DS XL to begin with. Um, some, some things I was watching for these new Pikachu uh, 3DS XLs were going upwards of 260 which I was just like, wow, dumbasses. Uh, it's, you know, $40 cheaper at Target right now. Just leave your fucking house and go get one. But I guess those people didn't hear about that. Uh, it's called the Internet. If you're using eBay, um, you're using it. So go get yourself a $160 fucking Pikachu thing and quit wasting money. I'm going to unbox this, so stay tuned. Alright, first thing we got... 3SXL guidebook. There's some Pokemon promo crap in here. Some Spanish directions, a quick start guide in English. Quick start guide in like French or something. I think that's a leaflet for just Gates to Infinity. And there's a new game also, Pokemon Rumble Blast. I think that just came out. I don't know what kind of game that is. But, uh... The reason I actually got one, if you buy a 3DS, I think you have to buy a 3DS, or you might just have to buy the new Luigi's Mansion game or the Pokemon Infinity game. And if you register a DS like online between now and the end of April or something like that with either one of those titles, you get a free game. Um, it's a select uh, titles. I think I'm going to get like Mario Land 3D or whatever because that seemed like the best one. But I know another one's one of like the Professor Layton games and some other stuff. But um, here's some AR cards, the augmented reality. And excuse me for being kind of like unknowing of actually what's in a DS or a 3DS. I've never even played one, so uh, I've I've gone to like Best Buy and stuff where they have them on demo, and I push a couple buttons and then like walk away. I never really noticed the 3D. I don't know if it was turned on because I know it's with a slider. But there's your AV adapter, and then. Here's our actual system, and I guess it's only the little DS's that come with, like, the cradle thing. But there is your Pokemon Pikachu 3DS XL. And it opens up. It's 
to kind of look like that. That's what it's supposed to represent. Now my brother has one of those Castlevania Mirrors of Fate um, 3DS covers, which I think I'm going to put on here so I could take this in public and nobody's going to be like, what the hell is that 24-year-old man doing with a Pikachu <laughs> DS? Plus it'll protect the art that's actually, you know, the variant of what I got. Um, so I definitely put a cover on it, a protective cover. Seems like a good idea. But, again, that's kind of what you get. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, Pikachu is never a favorite Pokemon of mine. I always thought he was kind of lame. But, I thought Raichu was cool. And I think that's everything in the box. And then again, there's your box. There's your product. And I think I'm going to upload this tomorrow. So Monday, if I have time. I'm very, very busy at the moment. But uh, just wanted to kind of show this off. So thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned and catch them all.